Hey guys, welcome to Missledyne Online. Gameplay in the background is from the world of Warcraft. Released by Blizzard, of course. Everyone knows World of Warcraft. If you don't know World of Warcraft, why are you watching my video? Why? I don't understand. Uh, I'm pretty sure anyone who's ever heard of a video game knows about World of Warcraft. Just a guess. Just a guess. Anyways, I'm on my level 46 priest, uh, Arst. He is in shadow at the moment, but he was normally a disciplined priest. I just wanted to take the extra damage. Um, if you guys can tell, I sped up the video because who really wants to see Alteric Valley? That's right, this is Alteric Valley, a BG in World of Warcraft. It's been in there for a while. It's a battleground. Um, and this is Alliance win. We do win, which is pretty rare. So good thing I caught it on tape just in case there was any, any naysayers out there. The Alliance, the Alliance does win. Told you. Yeah, I never told you that, but I'm, I'm telling you now. Anyways, as you can see, we did not go and de defend Belinda. We straight went right for Captain Galvanger. Uh, we're just going right for that. Ignore the the chat. Obviously, people are a little bit annoying in there. Now, I'm still learning how to play a Shadow Priest. All I know is you throw dots on and mind flay the crap out of people. That's pretty much it. Throw a mind blast when you can. Um, there you go, Galvanger's down. Good. Good to go. Good. And if you guys notice, we got him down before they got Belinda down. So we're at a pretty good start. Pretty, pretty good start. Now, I w used to play Horde a lot, and, and we always realized that we would lose every time we went to go defend uh, Galvanger for some strange reason. I don't know if, if, uh, if they, you know, we knew that the Alliance would be defending uh, would wouldn't be attacking. They would they wouldn't attack Galvinger when we were defending him, and they would attack him when we weren't. So I don't I don't know. I I was never lucky when I played Horde, uh, but it doesn't matter. I always won when we were Horde. I don't know why. Maybe it had to do with the fact that I was a hunter, overpowered. Anyways, so yeah, as you guys can see, it's real quick. I'm right in, rushing right to the end. I'd even bother taking Tower Point. Um, basically, the whole idea of Alteric Valley is you just go and you take. Each little strategic place that there is to take, um, and including this, you really want to get this graveyard over here because if if you don't and you die, you go really far away. And this is the their graveyard. This is the Horde's graveyard. This is right there, right in the middle of all the action. You need this graveyard if you want to if you want to take down Drek'thar. Now, the first things first is you always want to take down the East Frostwolf Tower and the West Frostwolf Tower. As soon as you get there. And then defend them. Don't go and sit on the ground like everyone else. Um, odds are you'll notice that people are sitting down on the ground. And that is not a good idea. Um, stay in the tower. Defend the tower. As you can see, I actually don't do that. We don't do that. And because of that, we lose the West Frost Wolf. So that's not a good thing. So anyways, while this battle is going on, this terrible, terrible battle that is really, really easy. Look, some PvP action. Not that I get in on it. Anyways, so this video is more to inform you guys of where I'm going with this channel and what's going on. My current Let's Play of Final Fantasy IX isn't doing too well. Uh, at most, my for some reason, my part one has, uh, geez, almost 200 views. Whereas the rest of the Let's Play has like six. Um, I don't know if that's a family member of mine, I'm looking at my sister, um, who is just viewing the video repetitively, or or what. Um, I was told by by someone that they had first seen it in uh, an ad before something, so that's interesting. Um, I don't know how that, how that got there, but maybe I should start paying for advertisements. Maybe, if it's getting people in there. So as you can see, this is the part where we actually lost the West Frostwolf Tower, and that is stupid. Stupid us. Now we have to wait four minutes. I don't think we end up waiting four minutes. I'm actually fairly positive we don't. Um, but this is kind of cool, is he gets taken down uh, before he can get down the East Frostwolf Tower. So that's good. That's good news. So yes, anyways, my Let's Play of Final Fantasy IX isn't doing well. I'm going to continue with it. Um, it's... It is one of my favorite games. It holds a special place in my heart. And it is... It it has to be. It has to be the first Let's Play I do. It just... It has to be. Um, it, it, the game means a lot to me. It really got me into gaming. 
uh, in its entirety. Um, I really, really, really got into gaming because of this game. If, if it wasn't for that game, I wouldn't have enjoyed any other Final Fantasy or anything like that. However, some plans that we have for this channel that that I have is I've talked to talked to some of my friends and we're gonna see what we can do um, and we kind of want to try working on some skits and stuff like that um, most of my friends are, are pretty talented so we we we're gonna try that no promises or anything um, I guess it's gonna be a surprise but uh, it's gonna be a surprise to the 16 subscribers that I have which brings me to my next point if you guys really like the videos let let people know about it. I mean, that's that's really the only way people can know about YouTube videos is is by you guys going out there and just and just telling people about it. Like, oh hey, you know uh, this guy's really good. He's uh he's got a Final Fantasy series uh that he uh, makes really bad voices at and uh, sucks. But hey, and he plays World of Warcraft. I I don't really know. You know, tell people because at the end of the day, it's not about view count. But at the same time, it, it, it's not great when you're like, oh, I'm putting out all these videos and six people are watching them and three of those are yourself when you accidentally refresh the page or something, which happens way too much, by the way. Um, so, so yeah, it's, it's, it's really dependent on what's going on. But, but anyways, stay tuned. Stick around for the channel. As you can see, we knocked down Drek'thar right here. Thank you for joining us. Stick around for the rest of the plans. Have a good one.